What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here and today we are back with another comparison video. This time we're going to be looking at the Hyperdrive Solo 7-in-1 versus the Lintian 6-in-1 USB Type-C adapter. Let's check them out. So these devices are basically USB type C hubs. Now we know what these do. They plug directly into the iPad itself over here on the side, and they're going to allow you to be able to use all these different types of inputs, USB type C, USB A, micro SD, SD, audio, HDMI. They're full of, they're, they're full of all these connectors. So what people come here to this channel to find out is, is that a good form factor? Is the function going to be good? And number one, is it going to be affordable? And right now I can tell you that the Lintian six in one is going to be 50 bucks while the hyperdrive starts out at about 75 bucks. So right there, price wise, Lintian is going to be the best. Now there have been some problems on this side of Lintian and I will tell you right up front at the beginning of this video that I've been checking with them on their website. I've been checking with them on Amazon and this is not available. So even if it is the cheaper value, if it's not available, you're not going to be able to get this. So with that being said, <laughs> hands down right now, the winner is going to be the hyperdrive. Now this is probably the cheapest of the hyperdrive products that I've been able to find. It's about 75 bucks. I'm going to link it below. I've done a full review. I'm going to actually leave that review below as well. So you can go and check that out, but it's a seven in one USB type C hub. So you got two a two USB type a, you have a 60 watt power pass through, you have SD card slot and micro SD card slot audio jack, HDMI out and over here you got your USB type C you got your hyperdrive logo right there and this little plastic piece is mainly for Dell computers so you don't have to worry about that unless you have a Dell but it gives you a more stable audio connection so you just leave that flipped in if you don't have a Dell just plug it in but the form factor is awesome with these they're just gonna pop in they take up little space you don't have any wires hanging you put your USB drives in there Put your SD cards in there, no problems whatsoever. Now, I'm saying the this one is the best buy for right now because the other one, like I said, Lintian, is not available. They, they say it's not available and we don't know if it will be available again. So I don't know what the issue is with this company, but it's a very good product. And if you could have gotten one, it's, it's magnetic. So this piece comes off and if you have a case, it goes around there, but it has to be a pretty slim case. So I want you to see that very slim gap. The case can't be that thick at all. And if you don't have a case on it, it just kind of latches onto the side, holds in, and those little magnetic pieces help it to stay connected. Uh, now I do have the Apple keyboard on there and this will not connect with the Apple keyboard on there. So basically you're gonna have to have a just straight up iPad. When you're using this device, this one will connect with a case, the Apple keyboard case, but it will not connect with the other type cases such as Autobox, Symmetry Series, 360, or the Zugu Muse will not connect. There we go, guys. Two different USB type C hubs, Hyperdrive over here, Lintian over here. Like I said, Lintian is cheaper. If you can find one of these, great. Only $50 out of your pocket. Hyperdrive is available. You can get these readily on Amazon. You can get them at Best Buy, 75 bucks, but it is reliable. Both of these have great connection. Both of these have 4K quality on the HDMI. Both of these have fast data transfer, so it's no issues whatsoever. Now, the Lintian will power pass through or PD charge up to 100 watts, which is a great thing. And this one only charges up to 60 watts. But most of our devices, fast charge, 60 watt, I mean, we're, we're not, that's like apples and oranges or apples and apples 60 watts versus 100 watts you're gonna get a you're gonna get a fast charge so you're gonna get a quick charge no matter which one of these you get hopefully this has been able to help someone out until next time be sure and give me that thumbs up please subscribe average tech guy out peace